They call it right. We did it. We got it. We got it. I'm so excited. We have an amazing guest. His name's Danny. We are live. Here goes Entertainment Podcast. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for coming on. I'm welcoming you. Thank you so much, guys. Welcome. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for joining us for another Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. I am your host, Ariel. What's up, guys? Say hello to my best friend. Danny here on the other end. What's up, Danny? Hey, how's it going? Thank you for having me. Oh, yeah. We are so grateful you came on to the show. Before we get into the topic, guys, with my homeboy, Danny, um, which is the topic today is journalism or, (laughs) you know, anything in those lines. He he has so much to tell us, guys. So I'm so excited. (laughs) It's something I like um, doing on my spare time. And yeah, I'm so excited for the show. We have an awesome show. Today is September 24th, 2020. And um, man, I'm, I, my website, arielent.com, arielent.com. As you can tell, you can see how happy I am. I can't believe with this new studio, we got new lighting. It, it's going it's going hard in here. I am wearing the shirt I wore all day. I didn't even dress up for this. I was just like, screw it. That's how we do it, baby. I got the hat on here. Decided to do a little bit different cleaned up the beard a little bit okay all right here we go make sure you guys go to the website arielent.com arielent.com as you can tell we got the logo in the back too um arielent.com remember i do photography as well and i do um music so go to arielent.com you can catch all my photography and my music and all my podcast episodes guys thank you for all the support thank you for the amazing comments you guys give me the amazing feedback um uh buying my merch guys i forgot about the merch you guys are buying the merch go to arielent.com i got a show right here i don't know why i forgot about that here we go here we go here we go oh no that's not it here we go i think that's it hold on i gotta do it again i was getting too excited (laughs) there it is arielent.com there's the red t-shirt white t-shirt guys oh my goodness I was given a few out. I went out on the street on Broadway and I just gave a few out to people that were just walking by. I said, enjoy this, much love. Pass on the kindness is what I said. And they said, oh, for real? And I said, yeah, take care. I was like, whatever. ArielENT.com, guys, check out the store. What else we got here? Oh yeah, my Instagram, ArielENTPOD. ArielENTPOD is the Instagram. Make sure you guys support, follow, and subscribe and share. Tell your friends and family means the world to me, guys. Thank you so much for getting the word out. Get any of these podcasts and share with one of your friends. Be like, hey, check it out. This is an amazing podcast. My homeboy, Ariel, go listen to him. He's amazing. Okay. We're going to get straight to the prayer. Oh my goodness. We're going to get straight to the prayer. So here we go. I want to say thank you, God, for having Danny come on to our podcast. Thank you, God, for us having um, communications, networking to be able to do this. So I think thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, God, for our amazing health. Thank you, God, for our jobs. Thank you, God, for keeping us safe wherever we are, watching over us. Uh, Thank you, God, uh, for keeping positivity in our lives. Thank you, God, for for the food that we're able to eat every time we're able to get some food. So thank you, God, for the food that we're able to have. And... Thank you, God, for forgiving our sins. Oh, yeah, I nailed it. Thank you so much. All right. So we'll end it with this. This this is a positivity right here. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God love commits us here, ever this day and night, be at our side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. That's what I have to say. And as well, we are all now at the same frequency right now. Guys, let's get to my homeboy, Danny, right now. Danny, welcome to the show. What's up? Hello. How's it going? Thank you for Oh, yeah, we are so excited. Danny, tell us uh, if there's any social medias or, um, or and tell us who you are, man. Okay, well, my name is Denny, and I am a journalist uh, living in the St. Louis area. I'm on the Illinois side of the river, but um, I am a celebrity interviewer for um, Colorado's premier LGBTQ publication, Outfront Magazine. That is so awesome, man. Any social medias we can follow you? Yes, I am on Facebook, just Denny Patterson. Uh, you easily find me, but my main thing is Instagram, Denny, D-E-N-N-Y, uh, P-777. That's my Instagram. All right, man. 
Yo, uh, Danny, uh, the way I met you is by networking on, on Instagram. I saw your article right there and I said, okay, this guy's legit. I wanted to reach out to you. Uh, caught my eye instantly, dude. So uh, you said you're out there in Illinois right now? Yes, I live in Illinois, yes. Six, it's six o'clock over there? It is, yes. Oh yeah, I remember from when I was out there this summer. Dude, I went to, uh, I went to a couple hikes out there. It was really cool. I went to this a sunflower place. That was nice. Cool. Yeah, um, there's some hiking areas out in Illinois. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. We, we, may, we may not have mountains like in Colorado, but still, we have beautiful nature and scenery. You, you, exactly, dude. You, <laughs> exactly, dude. I thought it was really cool. And um, yeah, so do you come out here to Colorado quite a bit? I try to. Yeah. So one of my best friends from college, uh, she went to graduate school out in, in Denver. So I try to come, go visit her, but unfortunately because of the pandemic, I have not been able to make it out there this year, but yeah, she moved out there in 2014. And so I've been coming once, once or twice every year since. Mm -hmm. And how I, how I got hooked up with out front was um, I was just looking for some new um, writing opportunities um, in the LGBTQ media. So I found out front reached out, said, Hey, you need some freelance writers let's let's make something work they gave me a couple stories just kind of built on from there and then i started getting more and more celebrity interviewers and now i am the uh primary celebrity interviewer wow dude sounds like you're killing it on your end i wanted to bring up the I, website i wanted to bring up the website where you're working at man so let me share this real quick here um, that's outfrontmagazine.com yeah you bet i got it right here baby right there Woo! Do you, do you see it? <laughs> yep, and and Schitt's Creek and Cameron Hawthorne, both of those are my stories. Oh my gosh, right here. Sweet, dude, this is your story right here. Yep, that's my story right there. Wow. Yeah, gay country um, icon, Cameron Hawthorne. If you search Denny Patterson in the search, uh, all my work will come up. There you go, guys. Go check out this website, it is out. Um, it's right here, outfrontmagazine.com. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm killing it today. Outfrontmagazine.com, guys. Go check him out, support him, read his articles. They are legit. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yo, so when did you get into journalism as a kid, third grade, kindergarten? So I found my love for journalism when I was in high school. Um, originally, I wanted to go into theater and be an actor like a lot of little gay students, <laughs> but um, it was junior year in high school, I took my first journalism class, and yeah. I just really loved it. I loved the writing, and my teacher thought I had a knack for it, so yeah. the senior year, she put me on the, the school newspaper, and then um, I became editor-in-chief of the newspaper, so I'm like, okay, maybe I'd have something here, but um, Moving forward into college, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I went to community college for my first two years, right. and I thought I was still going to go into theater, but they had a journalism scholarship, so I went ahead and applied, and I got, I was accepted. So through that scholarship, I learned so much more, and it just kind of built on from there. Finally, when I transferred to Milken University, um, that's my alma, alma mater, um, I was like, okay, do I want to? going to theater like I wanted to, or do I want to continue this path of journalism? So yeah. I decided to do English journalism for my major and then theater as my minor. So kind of the best of both worlds. Very cool, man. That is so cool. That's very inspiring. And uh, so how long were you in school? About four years? So first two years of community college and two and a half years of Milken. Yes. There you go, man. That's what's up. Uh, you said you fell in love with journalism in high school. Mm -hmm. Yep. There you cool. Was it a teacher that got you into it? Was it just so my teacher was really encouraging for me yep. to do more? And her name was Miss Laura Sullivan, and I will always forever be grateful for her. I thank her all the time because right. if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have fell into this, fallen into this crazy business. She really pushed me to succeed at this, and she gave me more opportunities. So by the time I graduated high school, I was like, okay, this may be a new path for me to go down into, and I'm very grateful for it. That's incredible to have people like that uh, that push us and just knows that we can mm -hmm. just deep. They, there's some there's people out there that they, they just know deep down in, in you that you can do it, so they push you. Yeah. And um, yeah. yeah. Then when I got to college, um, my advisor 
um, at college, he was amazing. I mean, I, he knew I could do it. He wouldn't let me give up. He wouldn't let me fail. He really gave me the support. And what I originally wanted to do, I originally wanted to do feature writing and column writing. Um, I had in my mind like, okay, well, I'm just going to like write my opinion. It's whatever I want to write the hell about. Yeah. But he wanted to challenge me and he said he wanted me to write like news stories. So mm -hmm. then I fell into news and then I'm like, okay, I actually really like reporting what's going on. So I was talking to this person, talking to that person. I was doing so much writing at, for Milliken. And by the end of my college career, I had professors coming up to me saying that they were learning out stuff about the school and the administration from me by my writing before they even knew. So that was a big compliment. Like, okay, maybe, maybe I'm doing something right. Yeah. So got into the news, but I know I, knew I always still want to do enter the entertainment side. because so, so I just love writing in general. I love writing all different aspects because we have different categories for journalism. You have news, feature, arts and entertainment, and sports. Didn't want to write sports whatsoever because I know absolutely nothing about sports. But here's the kicker right here. Yeah. My college advisor, he told me before I graduated, he wanted me to write at least one sports story. For sure, yeah. So I'm like, oh, fine. I will awesome. do at least one sports story. I'll yep. do it just for you. That sports story ended up winning a first place award at the Illinois College Association yep. Press, oh, whatever. Yep, that's what I'm talking about, man. You got to get out of your comfort zone. And when you do that, you never know what you can expect. Exactly. And I won an award for it. So I'm like, okay, there we go. There you go, man. So if the entertainment doesn't come through, you're like, I, I got the sports behind me. Yes, yes. <laughs> the very minimal I have of sports. <laughs> yeah, man. Wow, you're killing it. That's so cool. Um, I see here that uh, writing is your favorite. When you t when you say writing, when you say writing, is that something you write down like on a notepad? Do you talk into your phone? Like I know people say voice things, or do you um, write on your computer? Or what's up? I write mostly on my computer. Yeah, like I have I have notepads and I just write everything on. But yeah, I mean I don't do much creative writing. It's mostly just all journalism writing. But because as a celebrity interviewer, I just like all my interviews on there, all my questions, uh, possible ideas, people I need to reach out to, so things like that. No oh, man, that's cool. Hey, so do you have family out here in Colorado, or is it just your friend? Uh, so just my friend, yeah, my friend uh, Heather. She's the only one who lives out there right now. Um, I'm something else you may not know is that I also do uh, work for Ancestry.com. I am a digitization specialist for Ancestry.com, so I'm in the genealogy. So I do know I do have some rel distant, distant relatives out in Colorado somewhere. Uh, but main people I go see is uh, my best friend Heather, and then the people I out, out front. What's your favorite things to do out here when you come? Oh, God, favorite things to do. So, yeah. love going to Red Rocks. Red Rocks was the first place I ever went to in the Denver area. That's where Heather took me first. Yeah. Love Red Rock. Uh, love going to Casa Bonita. That's a, always a fun place. <laughs> uh, 16th Street Mall. Um, I love going down there. I just, just walking it. Um, um, Estes Park. We've yeah. been up there times. I love yep. doing that. Yep. Uh, We've been to Colorado Springs. Uh, we've been to Grand Junction. We've been to uh, the Royal Gorge. Oh, nice! So, so every time um, I go out, uh, come out there, Heather always tries to make some new adventure for us. She should, so, she she loves hiking. She we've been to Mount Evans a couple times. So yeah, but I think the number one will always be Red Rocks because that was the first place um, I ever went. So that will always hold a deep, uh, special meaning in my heart. When you when you say Red Box, was it a concert or was it a like a hike? Just, hike, just hiking. Oh my gosh, dude! I hope sometime in your life you experience a concert there. I, I would love to because I I've seen um online people perform and I would love to see a concert. I, oh. I think my mom, my mom she's actually been to a Red Box concert like years and years ago. Oh my gosh. Said, yeah, it's it's incredible. It's a, yeah. it's, it's another level. So just like all around the Denver area, even spreading out outside the Denver metro area, I'm going. I'm going to explore. I mean, I mean, I just love being out there. The, the I love being around the mountains. They're just so calming and peaceful for me, and it's my favorite place for sure. And you say it was your best friend Heather. Yes. All right, Heather, we're counting on you. When you watch this, we're counting on you to, <laughs> every time he comes through to take him to an amazing spot. So, have you been to a um, what's it called? Have you been to Hanging Lake? No, I have not. All right, Heather, there it is. I had just helped out, Heather. 
<laughs> What's hanging lake? Oh man, it's a hike and you just climb up to the way top and it's a lake on the edge of a mountain. It's just, Okay, uh, we're going there. We're, we have to on the next itinerary. <laughs> yeah, dude, so check this. I'm a native here and um, out of all the places I've hiked, I'd say this is the best hike ever, hanging lake. Okay. Um, so you haven't been to um, to the Coors, uh, the Coors drinking place? The, the brewery? Yeah. We've been to a brewery in Fort Collins. Must be like Budweiser. Oh, I can't remember which one it was, but I don't. I don't think it was Coors. No, I don't think I've. I don't think I've heard it yet. Go to the cool. If you ever come, go to. The, uh, I had a friend that came out here. Shout out to my boy, a friend from California. He came out here, like I think, a couple times already, and he said mm-hmm. his favorite thing so far because he goes and adventures out. He said his favorite yeah. thing so far, or he said no. He said his words were, "If somebody comes out here and checks out." Co- Denver, and they want like a place to go check out. Tell them the Coors Brewery. Okay. All okay. Right. Put down my list. Yeah, dude. Everything's free. You park is free. Oh, no. Nice. Um, Perfect. The, the the they a bus come. You just park your car. You go to this like little spot, and a bus comes mm. and picks you up. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's free. And then when you go to get in the the brewery, it's free. The no. tour is free. And then when you're done, they give you three free drinks of out of all their brewery. Oh, nice. Amazing. Yeah. Well, here in St. Louis, we have Anheuser-Busch. So we have the Bush Brewery out here. Oh, so. my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, it's Great. a fun time. Yeah, man. So where were you born? Uh, Granite City, Illinois. Wow, Illinois. Don't tell me you're a Blackhawks fan. I don't follow sports, so no. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's my boy. But if I have to root for any teams, it would be St. Louis-based teams like the Cardinals and yeah, the St. Louis yeah. Blues. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Right yep. <laughs> right on, dude. So uh, what do you love about journalism? I know you're in the field like entertainment. What do you love about it, man? So what I love about it now, I love being, being able to interview amazing celebrities, and I love telling their stories. I love hearing – um, their opinion, their point point of views, their perspective. I mean, I've been very fortunate to talk to some some pretty high profile celebrities. So I mean, yeah, yeah, that's, that, that explains it right there. Like, yeah, it's just like I know. I mean, I just feel like, like I understand. Yeah, but just being able to tell their stories because, like this this year alone, I have I mean I've talked to John Waters, Melissa Etheridge, Tim Gunn, Wilson yeah. Cruz, Frank Benoli, um, Todrick Hall, um, Evie Ali from Drag Race. So I just talked to all these people and just hearing their stories and being able to get their story out there and pr- really promote their current projects because I like to talk about what they're currently working on. Just I mean, just last night. Um, I um, had a chat with Evie McDonald. Uh, she is a Australian actress. She's 15 years old and she's transgender. And she is starring in her first uh, show on Hulu called First Day that's centered around a, around a transgender girl going to school. Whoa. So it was really interesting hearing about her upbringing because mm-hmm. like, we don't know really know much about transgender youth in some aspects. So I was, I love learning about her story, how her family reacted, um, how she has been such an influencer to uh, bring, uh, to have people realize transgender youth and rights and all that. So. Yeah. That's a, it's a whole another view to see, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, what I, what I believe, uh, um, dude, you're just really good at listening. You got really, <laughs> really good listening skills for you to like, be doing what you're doing man I, I think that's really cool and uh proud of you man what about <laughs> yeah <I'm> uh, <laughs> dude dude what about so i've been to red rock i've been to 16th street i've been to estes park did you go to rocky mountain national park at estes park yeah yes i remember uh, about 2017 uh we were up she took me on like one of the really big height yeah uh, like, oh, my God, this is going to kill me. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and we also did a Trail Ridge Road that day as well. Oh, so. my God. She took you straight up. That was- oh, yeah. But that's what I want. That's the experience I want. Yeah. That's the event 
they want. So I don't care if it's going to kill me. I, I'm, I'm going to do it. Dude, you, she took you go home, go hard or go home, dude. Pretty much every every time I'm out there, she's like, okay, I don't want to kill you on your first day here, but we may. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For real. Because, I mean, I'm in Illinois, I mean, we don't have the altitude. I know. Right there. Oh, That's, I know. I think, like, Trail Roads Road goes to, like, 14,000, 12,000. Yeah, but, yeah, 14,000, I think, yeah. yeah. Yeah, did you make it to the top top? Yeah, pretty oh, much. Oh my. Yeah, dude, I drove that twice, and I will never do it again. <laughs> I would like to do it at least one more time. Yeah, I've done it twice, and every, my hands, when I'm done driving, when I come down from the hill, they're just, mm -hmm. they're done, dude. Uh, yeah, she's, she's, she's going to be the one to drive. I'm not, I'm not going to drive it. She'll oh, drive. <laughs> yeah, jeez. She has better control. The, the steering wheel is, like, dented, bro. <laughs> Yo, so, uh, yeah, no, well, again, thank you so much for coming on. Um, I got a couple more questions here. Um, what would you um, have any advice for, up? you know, you said you fell in love in high school, like, mm -hmm. mainly in high school with this. Um, what happens if there's people right now, like, in third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, um, that are jumping into journalism or want to do journal, um, doing a journal, you know? Uh, me, I did a few journals growing up. Uh, me right now, I feel my journal is like my content. I feel my journaling is now video. Mm -hmm. My journaling is my video and, <laughs> um, or music or doing podcasts. I feel like that's my journalism. Um, yeah. You know, and, but it's a different type. Um, if people were, you know, kids or something uh, right now are looking up to do like what they can do or any advice for them. Uh, what do you have uh, for upcoming journalism? Okay, well, there are two things. There are two things I can say about this. Number one is, if you want to do it, have faith in yourself. You can do it. Because I didn't know if I was going to be able to do this, but it turns out I can. <laughs> By the grace of God, I can. And like I said, I ha had no intention of writing a sports story. Didn't want to do the sports story. That story got me an award. Yep. So you, oh. if, if you can do it, you can do it. Believe in yourself. Don't let failure be an option. And that's something I always tell myself. I cannot let failure be an option for me. So if you want to go into journalism, you can do it. Um, there are different aspects of journalism. Like you said, podcasting, video, writing. So whatever you want to go into, do it. The second thing I can say about this is if you want to go into journalism and report the news, report the facts, don't let it die. Because yeah. journalism is dying right now, especially with today's political climate. Journalism is in danger. Yeah. And I wholeheartedly believe believe that sorry sorry edit, edit this out let me get my thoughts yeah okay take your time because it's something i'm very passionate about so i'm just like i want to make sure i say this eloquently yep right now we are in a political crisis and journalism is at risk and if we don't do something about it journalism can die and we can't have that that is a founding principle for this country. It's freedom of speech. Yeah. We have freedom of the pr freedom of press. Whatever you do, do not let journalism die. We need more journalists out there. We need more people out there reporting the news, reporting the facts, not these alternative, alternative facts like this administration tries to come up with. We need to, we need to be real with the public. And there's so much misinformation out there nowadays or you have a have a media outlet that sways too far left or too far right no, you want to be as unbiased as you can i mean yeah it may be hard at times but you just want to report the facts do not let journalism die yeah report the facts and you know what i've been seeing a lot dude is um like on youtube they've been um deplatforming people for speaking yeah keeping things silent man it's so mm -hmm. crazy yeah yeah it's 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 scary we are living in a scary time right now and that is why another reason you need to go out and vote you need to vote on november 3rd yeah. I, i'm i'm a political advocate i am in politics myself i'm an elected official here in illinois as well just another little thing to throw in i am i am an elected precinct committeeman here in my town so I have been canvassing for our local candidates because, yeah, we have a we have a federal election, but we also have several several uh, local elections as well, uh, local positions to fill. So 
if you believe in a free country, if you believe in democracy, you need to have your voice heard and you need to get out there and vote on November 3rd. Yeah, I appreciate you doing that too. You know, there's people that are shy or people just can't, just don't have that inspiration or motivation, dude. You're, yeah. <clears throat> you know, they want to get out there just like you and you're in, and, you know, they sometimes they can't do it. Social anxiety, there's such a thing. Yeah. Um, you know, and you're doing that for us, man. So thank you so well, much. Of course, my pleasure. And of course, we also have those mail, mail-in ballots. Like there are other ways of voting. You do not have to go, to go directly to the polls. There are other ways you can vote. You just uh, need to find find out the correct information. Uh, I mean, get in touch with the right people. Uh, make sure you're registered to vote because that's another big thing. And that takes less than two minutes. Go to vote.org to um, make sure that you're registered. Really? But we need to do whatever we can to ensure we do not have four more years of the, the atrocities that are happening now. I understand. I understand. Hey man, um, dude, I just want to say thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, I know you guys are an hour ahead over there and I know you're <laughs> going to go have some amazing dinner. Like me, <laughs> shout out, shout out to Illinois. You guys <laughs> got family out there. So shout out to Illinois. I want to say thank you so much, Danny, for coming on the show. You, I'm, I'm just <laughs> away. Um, and of course, and thank uh, you. What you said, dude, um, report the facts, and that's what you do. I, I'm impressed, and, I, and you inspire me by uh, uh, st- stand up for what we believe in, and, you know, um, voice needs to be heard. I, I can see that from you, and, uh, dude, you're very passionate. Uh, mm-hmm. so I think that's really cool, dude. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for reaching out and asking me to be on your podcast. Oh, dude, as, oh, for sure. We'll catch back up probably, like, in a few months. Yeah, that would be great. I'd love to. Yeah, I'd love to see what, you can, what you've been doing, killing it on your end with all this entertainment stuff, dude. We're, gonna, we're, we're getting to the end of the year. There's going to be so much more, and we have 2021 to look out for now. Oh, for sure, dude. Keep it up. Uh, you're killing it. Proud of you. We're all proud of you. Uh, well, can you tell us uh, one more time your social medias? We can follow you. Yeah. Facebook, um, yeah, I mean, I wear these big Prada sunglasses, so if you see a gay guy in big Prada uh, sunglasses, <laughs> But um, Denny P D E N D E N N Y P seven 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 is my Instagram handle. There it is. So you follow, follow all my work. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Next time, I know uh, there was another question I want to ask, but we're gonna we'll do ask that the next time we catch up, man. Awesome, guys. Denny killed it. He came on Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. This goes to arielent.com arielent.com. Make sure you guys subscribe share and follow if you love this if you go check out the other podcast copy the link and send it to your family or friends too so thank you so much for all the support spreading the word going to arielent.com for the merchandise thank you for all the t-shirts it helps me out a lot guys you have no idea thank you for all the support what else we got here take care of yourselves um get some sunlight go get some fresh air let's see what's up uh, take care of yourself love yourself and then love the animals shout out to danny danny anything else um, no, I think that about wraps it up. Thank you so much again for having me on. Much love to you all. Oh, absolutely. We can't wait till you come to Colorado. Yes, yes. I'll meet, uh, let's meet up when I'm out there. Yeah, there it is. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, guys. Thank you so much. God bless. Have a great week. Take care. Here we go. Oh, we killed it. Dude, Danny came in, killed it. Oh, my gosh. Shout out to Danny. Thank you so much. ArielENT.com. Instagram, ArielENTPOD. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. I am on all podcast platforms. Wherever you listen to your podcast, I am there. Thank you so much for all your support. Tell your friends and family. God bless.